Welcome to this Price of Job tutorial. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the project management tools for timesheets. To access your project timesheets, go to the top navigation bar and select Project. Then from the sidebar, you can select whichever project it is that you're looking to access the timesheets on. Let's choose Renovations. Then in the left sidebar, you can select Timesheet. Now, if you don't have the project management modules shown here, it may be because your subscription to Price of Job does not include this package. To upgrade, you can go to your account icon here in the top right and select Shop. And this will allow you to upgrade your package to include the project management module. And this is available on either a monthly or annual subscription. If you're considering several of these modules, we strongly recommend upgrading to the All Included package, which represents a savings of almost £300 and includes all of the packages, including project management, estimating, building regulations, engineering, and accounting. Now, if you don't have project management, but you do have the accounting package, you can use the accounting package to access the timesheets instead. And that can be accessed here in the top navigation bar by selecting Accounting. And then in the left sidebar, select Timesheet. And this will show you the timesheet for the selected project. To change projects, just go to the navigation bar here at the top and select the project that you need to access the timesheets for. In this case, let's go back to the Project tab and access the timesheet here. Now to add a person to this timesheet, we can add a person here. And here are our staff members, Alex or Robert, or we can create a new staff member here by clicking Create New. And here we can quickly add a new team member by adding their name and hourly rate. And save. And we can display the timesheets by week or by specific date for a single day or by report. And this will allow us to use custom dates or to quickly sort by last week, this week, last month, or the fiscal year. Custom dates will allow us to choose a date range from the drop down boxes above. In this case, let's just stay with the weekly timesheets and we'll be sure that we're selected for the proper week of this timesheet. Then to input the hours, we just select on the box for Monday and we can input the hours for Dave here. We'll say eight hours that day, four hours on Tuesday, four hours on Wednesday, and perhaps on Thursday it was an irregular shift. So here we might use the calculator to calculate the time. So here we would input the time in and we might say that was seven o'clock and the time out. And that might be 315, but this is a 24 hour clock. So we'll input 1515. And Price of Job recognizes that that means 315. And then we can input the length of break. Maybe had a 40 minute break. And Price of Job automatically calculates the total time for this day, as well as the day's wages based on his hourly rate. If there are any other items to add to this, we can click Add Item. And then we can select the Pay Rate Type. Perhaps rather than normal hours, this was overtime work, price work, sick, or vacation time. Or if you wish, you can add a different work time if you don't see what you need here. In this case, we'll just delete this column by clicking the bin icon here to delete. And then when we close this window, we'll see that the total calculation has been added here to the timesheet. And if we click on the calculator, it will show us our calculations once again. Now let's move to a different project. Maybe we'll look at the garden shed this time and we'll add an employee to this job. We'll add Alex to this. And we'll say Monday he worked 12 hours and Tuesday he worked 12 hours. So now we have timesheets created for several different projects. In order to see this employee's total earnings, we can now go to the company tab here in the top navigation bar and select staff and then go to the timesheet tab. And here we'll see a record of all of Alex's timesheets across all projects along with his total earnings. Now you may run into an instance when you're looking at a project that you see an employee that has worked hours every day. And here we can see that they put in 40 hours this week and yet their earnings are set to zero. This is not an error, it's simply an oversight. And this is because this employee's hourly rate has not been set yet. So to fix this, we can go back to company and select staff and find this employee, Sam. And then we can go into rates. And then we can see here that under their normal working hours that the rate has not been set. So for this, we could set their hourly rate at 12 pounds. And now when we go back to project, we can look at the timesheet and we can see that the employee's rate of pay has not been updated yet. And this is because when these hours were input, the rate was set at zero. So to fix this, we would simply delete this column for Sam and then re-add it and input his hours here. 
but this time, because his rate was set when we input the hours, his earnings are calculated appropriately. Now, if you'd like to access the timesheets from the accounting tab, you can do so here from the top navigation bar. Just simply select accounting and then choose timesheet. And then here you can choose the project for which you're calculating, either a specific project or all projects. And this will show you all employees' earnings across all projects for this specific date range. And here we're looking at the timesheets by week. So here we can select a weekly payroll. If we're looking for the timesheets by date, here we can select by date, and this would be for one specific day. Or alternatively, we can choose report, and here we can choose a specific date range from and to to get our timesheets for these custom dates. Alternatively, there's a drop down list here with quick results for last week, this week, last month, or for the entire fiscal year. And this will show all timesheets broken down on a weekly basis. We can also sort this by all staff or by specific staff members. Let's go back to our weekly results. And perhaps we want to create an invoice for this. So for that, we can go to the sidebar here and select invoices and then add an invoice and then add from estimate. And then we can choose timesheet and select the worker. In this case, we'll choose Alex. And then we can choose the date range. So we'll find the date range for this job. It was the 13th of September to the 19th. And this shows all the dates that this employee worked on this project. And we can either select all with the select all tab, or we can select specific dates here by deselecting or selecting whichever ones we wish. Here at the bottom, we see a total of eight days worked for a total of 916 pounds. So now we can click import. And this timesheet has been imported here into our invoice. We can continue to add items or add from estimate, then assign the invoice to a customer, and then click save. And this creates a new invoice stored here in our invoices tab. To view this, we can click on the invoice number and view the invoice details. You then have options to either print the invoice, export it as a PDF, send it out by email using Price of Jobs email servers, or delete the invoice. And that is how you can use the timesheet module in either the project management or accounting packages. Thank you for using Price a Job. Mm -hmm.